Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to have a film damage overlay on top of your footage in DaVinci Resolve 17. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com. All right, so we're in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now in the color page, I got my footage here and I will just basically add some overlay on top of it to make it look a bit more retro. It's a complimentary video that I've done uh, because I've made a quick tutorial on the analog damage uh, effect and it works hand in hand in my opinion with the film damage depending on the look that you're looking for. So right now I have a footage that I've already a bit color corrected so it looks a bit better. I'm gonna add a new node, so option S, I'm on Mac. Um, so then I'm gonna add the film damage effect. It's on your OpenFX library. If you don't find it by scrolling down, you can just go with film and here it's gonna show up, film damage. Just bring that on your node, and here you have your effect. Then you get a lot of different parameters that you can adjust to really get the look that you want. So you can have more blur, less blur, it's really up to you. Uh, usually I try not to go with way too much, otherwise you don't see anything that happened on your screen. So go with you know something that is looking fine for you, but don't go too hard. I usually don't go above uh, 200. After that, in my opinion, it's becoming a bit too blurry. Uh, then you can play with the temperature shift. You want something warmer, you want something cooler. In that uh, case, I will go with something a tiny bit cooler. So it yeah, here we go, we'll get something that I think is nice. Then you can play also with the tint shift, uh, with the magenta and the greens, but usually I bring it a bit toward the greens because uh, in my opinion, greens is just looking better than magentas. Then we can play a bit with the vignetting. So do we want to have like a really strong vignetting or not? And you can really play uh, around with that, having something softer, something stronger. Uh, it's really, really up to you. You can add more dirt, less dirt. So you can play with the size. You can play with the blur of the dirt. Um, you have a lot of different options. So let's add a bit more dirt. Let's add a bit more blur toward the dirt. Uh, okay. Then you can play with having a different spot at different places. Um, and then the scratch, you can add as many scratch as you want. Not as many scratches as you want, but you have like a, a lot of possibility. You can add up to five. Um, but that's pretty much how it looks. We get there super, super quickly. And as I said earlier, it works hand in hand, in my opinion, with another effect I'm gonna right now add a new node to show you. I've made a video about it, I'm gonna link it in the description, but basically it works really well for me with the analog damage effects if we bring that also over here. And let's say I want to have like a 60s colors type of look. Here we go. I got a black overlay on top of it and I have something, you know, that is looking even more retro and that is just looking really good in my opinion. Those two things work and in head, I think. So that's why I'm telling you today about the film damage because I've already done it with the analog damage uh, on a previous video. So check it out, link in the description. I hope this video was useful. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.